happy day students today we are going to read lesson 5 from your supplementary reader footprints without feet before starting the lesson children i want to tell you the message which this lesson conveys the lesson gives a message that misuse of science and its great discoveries can make even a brilliant scientist like griffin a monster and a threatening lawless person introduction of the story the story is about a scientist named griffin he discovers the rare chemical which can make a man invisible but at the same time the man can be touched and felt physically let's read and find out how he uses or misuses his powers for his own let us know about the author hg wells was an english writer he was prolific in many genres writing dozens of novels short stories and work of social commentary satire biography and autobiography and even two books on recreational war games he is now best remembered for his science fiction novels and is often called the father of science fiction along with Jules Verne and Hugo Gernsback Now students I will be explaining you the text just pay attention The two boys were surprised to see the fresh muddy imprints these were of a pair of bare feet as they gazed a fresh footmark appeared from nowhere then they saw further steps down the street thereafter they disappeared these footprints were of a scientist named griffin he had just discovered how to make the human body transparent he swallowed some drugs his body became as transparent as a sheet of glass it was before his footprints being seen But Griffin was rather a lawless person. His landlord disliked him and tried to eject him. In revenge, Griffin set fire to the house. He had to remove his clothes to get away, so he became a homeless wanderer without clothes or money. The two boys had seen him thus. Griffin escaped from the boys. He was without clothes in mid-winter at that time. Instead of walking about the streets he entered a big London store of for warmth he broke open boxes he fitted himself with warm clothes he had shoes an overcoat a hat but was invisible he took cool meat and coffee in a restaurant he also took meal sweets wine etc in a grocery store Finally he slept on a pile of quilts inside He did not wake up till the next morning when the servants came he began to run they chased him he escaped by taking off his newly found clothes This time he entered a theoretical company he hoped to find some clothes shivering with cold he hurried to Jury Lane it was the center of the theater world he soon found a suitable shop he went upstairs but came out a little later he was now wearing bandages those were round his forehead he wore dark glasses false nose and big bushy side whiskers he attacked a shopkeeper then he roped him sorry robbed him of all his money he then went to iping village from london there he booked two rooms at the local inn belonging to mrs hall the arrival of a stranger at an inn in winter amazed the villagers mrs hall the landlord's wife wanted to be friendly with him but he told her that he did not want to be disturbed he also told her that an accident had affected his face the stolen the stolen money 
did not last long. He, however, pretended that he was expecting some money at any moment. Shortly afterwards, a curious episode occurred. Now, what was that? Griffin had made himself invisible. He entered a clergyman's house. The clergyman awoke and he asked him to surrender, but he could see no one. He realized the room was empty, yet the desk had been opened and the money was missing. It was extraordinary for the clergyman. Now what happened students? The landlord and his wife, Mrs. Hall, woke up very early. They were surprised to see the scientist door wide open. They peeped round but saw nobody. Clothes, bandages, etc. were lying about in the room. Everything was in disorder. Then all of a sudden Mrs. Hall heard a sniff close to her ear. Then the bedpost leapt up. It dashed itself into her face. Both of them turned away in terror. A chair pushed both out of the room. Mrs. Hall almost fell down crying. She felt sure that the room was haunted by spirits. Soon the burglary in the clergyman's house became known. The strange scientist was suspected of having a hand in it. The suspicion became stronger as he produced ready cash. Earlier he had admitted of not having anything. The village constable was secretly called, but Mrs. Hall did not wait for the constable. She went to the scientist. She asked him what he had been doing to her chair upstairs. She wanted to know how he had entered a locked room. At this, the scientist grew angry. He suddenly shouted at her. He then threw off bandages, spectacles, nose, etc. He had become invisible. The horrified people now saw at a headless person. Mrs. Jeffers, the const sorry, Mr. Jeffers, the constable arrived. He was surprised that he had to arrest a man without a head, but he had to arrest him in any case. So he tried to catch the scientist, but he was throwing off one garment after another. The constable found himself struggling with someone he could not see at all. Some people tried to help him, but they received blows only from invisible griffin. In the end, Jeffers became unconscious. There were cries of hold him, but Griffin had freed himself. No one knew where to lay hand on him. Just wanted to recapitulate the story. You can just have a sum summary or you can say let lesson at a glance. The story is about a scientist named Griffin he had been discovering ways which could make a man invisible and finally swallowed certain rare drugs that made him invisible. He was first noticed by two boys in staircase of a house where they could see his footsteps and started following it. They follow it until the footsteps are fainter and cannot be seen. First, as he is feeling cold, he enters a mall for some warmth. After the store shut down, he decides to wear some warm clothes and eat something. The first unboxes a few clothes and wears them. Then from the kitchen of a restaurant, he eats cold meat, some coffee. Later, he goes to grocery store and eats sweets and drinks wine. He then falls asleep on a pile of quilts. He then wakes up in the morning when some of the store assistants had seen him and started chasing him. He quickly threw away all the clothes he had he was wearing and became invisible again. Then he started roaming round again without any clothes in the cold winters of London. Now what happened then? He decides to steal clothes from a theatre company as he knew he would get something to there to cover his face as well. 
He then steals bandages for his face, dark glasses, false nose and a hat for covering himself. He then hit the shopkeeper and steals all his money. Soon he realizes that London is too crowded to live like this and decides that he would go to a remote village. He books two rooms in an inn at the Iping village. He reaches there. It is strange for the people of Iping that a stranger with such a weird appearance has come to stay at an inn during the winter season. Why weird appearance? Because he was having a bandages and the funny kind of a nose, all this thing. Once his money is over, he steals from people and also hits the landlord and his wife when they try to check his room in his absence. Then the village constable is asked for help. But before that, Mrs. Hall, the wife of the landlord, asks him questions regarding who is he and what he did to her furniture. This makes him really furious and he decides to show her who he really is. The people then sees a headless man and Mr. Jeffers, the constable, also finds out that he would have to arrest a man who does not have a head. They were unable to catch Griffin as he removes all his clothes and becomes invisible. He even knocks out Jeffers as he tries to catch him. Thank you students. I hope that you have understood the story.